How a Soldier Exchanged Hats with a Small Boy by S. C. Turnbo. There are many little things done in the war days that seemingly were tame affairs, yet they are worth mentioning. Among these small incidents is one which Caleb Mahan furnished me, who said that he was quite small while the war was going on, but he said, There is one little incident that occurred in my presence that is still fresh in my mind. Now, after my father Isaac Mahan left our home on the little Norfolk and moved up near Rome in Douglas County, Missouri, a small boy was living with us by the name of Isaac Robertson. Now, this boy owned a brand new hat, which was not common for boys to have in those turbulent days. One day, a large body of cavalry, while passing our house, one of the men noticing young Robertson with a new hat on stopped at the yard gate and says, Little boy, let me see your hat. The boy, not thinking of anything wrong being done to him, walked across the yard to the gate where the soldier was on his horse, and before the unsuspecting child had time to hand him his hat, which he was going to do for him to look at, the man reached over the fence and snatched the hat off the little boy's head, and he pitched his old worn-out hat onto the yard and galloped off, leaving the poor boy in mute astonishment. My brother, Sam Mahan, who was also a little fella, was standing under a small tree when one of the men pretended to shoot at him to frighten him and did shoot off a small limb just over his head, which scared Sam nearly to death. At the same time, some of the men stopped and went into our house and took all the milk that we had, and Betsy Ann, one of my small little sisters, began to cry for milk. And one of the men who had a full cup of milk says, Here, little girl, I'll give you part of my milk back to you.